guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Nine Four Fishing. Today we're out here at Volano. We're doing a little bit of fishing. Uh, I haven't fished in a hot minute. We are at almost dead low tide right now. High tide's in about three hours. Um, so you can really see the contour of the beach here. If you look, this is a trough like at high tide. So when I'm fishing up there, I want to fish this. And then there's another one just in front of me right now. Uh, right now I've got fish bites, fish bites, not rigged up and not rigged up. So I'm gonna keep the uh, Daiwa spinner for cup bait and then I'm gonna put shrimp on the two uh, closer ones. I got fish bites on the one that I can cast way out there. So hopefully it's a good day. We're able to hook up into some nice fish. All right, looks like we got our first bite of the day on fish bites. Oh, that's never a good sign. All right, so first fish of the day is a catfish. That's not a good sign. Um, gotta be careful with these guys because they will barb you. So we're gonna get him thrown back as quick as we can. Again, first fish of the day. Excellent bait, that's what that is. Yes, sir. We ate that on fish bites and shrimp. So there's our bait we've been looking for. Bit of an update. Got some snacks. Caught one good size ladyfish. I got the head on it. I'm not uh, hoping the bite's gonna pick up here shortly. Looks like it's going to. The tide's coming in. You can see the water. It's got a lot close now. We'll see. Atlantic sharp nose. It's out by the white spots along the body. And that is going to be dinner. If that's a legal species, that's dinner all day. Come on. Thank you. 
He's not done yet. Oh, shit, thank you. If you don't mind, I'm trying to get him just a little more shallow. Hey, that's my phone in my pocket. That's fine. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's all right. So I'm saying, I didn't have any wire or anything. It's just mono. Wow. Yeah. Tough hit earlier. Probably a shark. Probably, yeah. They're out this time of year. Oh. All right, well, that's all that's left of that encounter. Just a frayed line. I'm not really going for shark per se. I just uh, I was hoping, honestly, with that setup, I was hoping for a big redfish, but uh, not too bad, not a bad one. Shout out to the guy that picked up my camera and helped me during that. So that was nice, but yeah, I knew as he he started fighting a little harder, and I was like, nah, he's gonna snap me off. And sure enough, so I'm gonna re-rig, same type of rig. I'm gonna get it tossed out there. Might put wire on this time. We'll see. We're gonna upgrade our tackle a little bit here. Got a nice good chunk of ladyfish. Let's get this into the scales here. Good bloody chunk of ladyfish. 100 pound wire. And then we got 200 pound mono. Essentially the same rig I had on it before. Just, you know, the souped up version. So let's hope, uh, let's hope that works. I can hear the thunder, but that ain't stopping me. Not today, I'm on a mission. We're gonna catch us a big old shark. Oh, no way. No way, what? Oh, rest in peace. Oh, that just happened. Damn. I'm having terrible luck today. So, that shark actually hurt more than I thought it did. Uh, I didn't realize it until I went to go cast the next time, but it had actually broken my rod. So. That. That is unfortunate. I really like this rod too. So, I guess uh, that's just something we're gonna have to deal with. We're gonna have to live with. But I got another chunk of ladyfish out there on that, so hopefully that pays off. That just sums up the past like 20 minutes or so. Honestly, like, oh, there he goes. You see him? You see him, Jeff? It's just a little baby one. Alright. This is 
now bait number four on that rod. Nice little sting, right? All right, quick update. It is five o'clock. Uh, GoPro's dead, everything else dead. I'm gonna put one more shark bait out. Put everything else up, hope I get something on it.